Today on Ask Bloop, what are some good After Effects alternatives? Welcome to Ask Bloop, more from BloopAnimation.com. It's Friday and it's time for your question. I want to create a 3D animated series, but I'm afraid no one will watch it and it will take too much effort. Well, then you probably shouldn't do it. Obviously creating a 3D animated series is gonna be a lot of effort. So if that's something that you don't wanna do, then you shouldn't start because chances are you'll stop halfway through and waste your time. However, there's nothing wrong with starting small. Maybe make a one minute funny animated video and see what the response is. Then maybe try something a little bit different. See how it is with smaller achievable projects before you jump into starting an actual web series. Maybe you'll find that you don't even like animating or maybe you'll see that making the kind of video you wanted to is actually easier than you thought and you'll feel more confident making more videos. My point is you never know what something is going to be until you actually do it. Bloop started as an animated sketch videos channel but I didn't like doing it. I wasn't good at it. Nobody watched it. So it slowly over time evolved into what it is today, focusing on long-term projects such as high-quality animated shorts and teaching animation through our courses library. I would have never known all of this though before I started, so my best advice is to stop contemplating and do something and see how it goes. I know Cinema 4D is known for motion graphics, but is it a bad idea to use it as a primary animation software for animated short films? No, some people use it for that and it's fine. If you're more comfortable with the interface of Cinema 4D, then use it. It definitely has the capabilities of making a short, it's up to you. There will be some limitations, but for most cases, it'll be just fine. Tools are just tools and a good film can be made using any of them. It all depends on the person using them. I'm currently using Blender for 3D animation. Is it totally necessary to learn Maya to get into the field of movie making? Is there a vast difference between the two? There is a difference, but it's totally fine to use either one. As long as you do good work, especially in animation, getting into the industry wouldn't necessarily be harder for a good Blender animator versus a good Maya animator. Though if you really want to work in the industry, I would suggest being familiar with Maya or even considering switching to animating on it. Just so you'll get used to the interface because in most places that'll be the software you'll be using. Might as well make the switch now. But if you're working on your own project or you're a freelancer, Blender is great. It's free and it's a great choice. We have animation courses for both of these programs on our website. So if you want to make the switch or just learn about the differences, check it out on blueanimation.com slash our courses. Is there any other 2D animation software that is capable of doing motion graphics like After Effects, but maybe without a subscription and integration based on Premiere Pro's workflow? Well, I know HitFilm is a cool alternative to After Effects for visual effects with a nice intuitive interface. And Nuke is a compositing alternative and one that I personally much prefer for multi-pass compositing for 3D renders. Toon Boom is better for capture animation for sure, but all of these programs are more expensive than After Effects. And for pure motion graphics, there just isn't a better solution at the moment. There's Apple Motion, which I guess is technically an alternative and cheaper, but I don't personally know anyone who uses that over After Effects. If you want to be a motion graphics artist, I'm sorry you got to use After Effects. That's all the questions for today. If you have one, post it in the comments below. Thanks for watching. See you next week.